Oh my god, what's going on here? It's so hot. Let me go back to the classroom before we begin our lesson on evolving magma. From our previous note, we know that evolving magma relies on a lot of things. Let me talk you through the points that I've made before. First, it is the ratio between alkalines and silica. This diagram is called the total alkaline silica diagram. It is used to name volcanic rock by its alkaline and silica content. But why them? It is because the ratio between them determines the actual and normative mineralogy. Secondly, we need to know how magma is differentiated. I have picked out the two well-known theories for that, including fractional crystallization and assimilation. For fractional crystallization, as magma cools, heavy crystals settle by gravity due to their specific densities. This results in a change in the melting composition, leaving lighter minerals behind in the melt. Assimilation is where magma melts the country rock when it passes through. We call the blocks of country rocks as senolith. Senolith then fall back into the magma, alternating magma composition. Some senolith may get dissolved, but some may get preserved. I extract this diagram from a book called Geology Volume 2. This diagram is a really good summary on types of primary magma in different tectonic settings. I have put the link to this source below for you guys. Give it a read, then you will know more about the processes of magma evolution. Finally, we talked about partial melting in the previous video, and the degree of partial melting affects the chemical composition of magma. If the magma is generated from mantle rocks, then its chemistry is ultramavic. It would make more mavic as it melts. If partial melting occurs as existing crustal rock melts, then the magma would become more felsic. So what do you guys have to take home after watching this video? 1. Evolving magma is a complex process. A lot of factors have to be determined. 2. Studying the composition of magma gives us an insight in understanding the Earth's past and future, including potential hazards. Here comes to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time and thank you for watching.